Hello, so today I've got a fairly interesting sort of gas mask respirator to look at. So this is the newer generation of one of the sort of cheap Chinese masks that was actually really good. Now the one I had before was basically this just with the filter there. But what they've done now is, assuming it works properly, which we'll find out in this video, they've made these now so you can use either 3M filters with them or a standard 40mm filter. So the idea is that it has blanking plugs in all the ports and then you remove the blanking plugs as necessary for the type of filters you want. So assuming this makes a good seal and everything and it doesn't leak, this might actually be a really good budget mask for people that just want a general everyday respirator for something because of the fact that, you know, you're not going to have many problems getting filters for this because if you keep your blank blanking plugs, you can either buy 3M filters from most hardware stores or, you know, 40mm filters anywhere you can find those. So what I'm going to do first is put the mask on with all the blanking plugs closed. I'm just going to pull this off the, um, like, protective thing. There we go. And what I'm going to do is see, first of all, if the mask makes an airtight seal to my face because, in theory, it should be completely airtight if all the blanking plugs are in. So if that bit works, we know that the blanking plugs actually work and um, we're then ready to test it with the various filters. Okay, so first, because it's been packed really tightly for shipping, let's get all the straps loose. So, because um, this uh, one does this kind of interesting thing where the only strap you really kind of adjust on these are the bottom two and the other ones are meant to just sort of pull tight as you tighten the mask. It has got one of those sort of um, neck brace sort of straps that I always like because it means that you can just hang the respirator from your neck. So it's basically just sort of a rubbery silicone inside bit, as I said, big panoramic lens, which is nice. So let's put this on and see if um, it stops me breathing, which is the idea if all the blanking plugs are in. Yeah, it's already pulling tight to my face without me tightening the strap, so... Yeah, it's actually made a suction on my face, so yeah. This definitely um, works for the blanking plugs, there's no doubt about that, because without me even tightening the straps, it was pulling itself to my face. So, first, should we test it with the 3M filters? Okay, so here we have, like, the standard style 3M particulate filter. Now, the blanking plugs, as I said, obviously, do not lose the blanking plugs for this if you've got them. Right, so, with the blanking plugs for this, you actually have to twist them and then lift them, because they work like the 3M bayonet system. And then there's a big washer there, which I assume is to make the airtight seal. So, without taking that washer off, let's just see if one of these will um, go on properly. So I'm going to need to get it at the right angle, and then twist it, because I'm not sure if that's going to be, which way that's actually going to be on this. So, if I need to, I'll take the blanking plug, not blanking plug, little rubber sort of um, washer off, but... Yeah, the connection looks absolutely fine for this filter, it's just obviously getting it on. Um, so, yes. Uh, is that it? Yeah, there we go. And then back that way. Yeah, there we go. Now that's tight. Right, I'll just try this with the one filter on so far. Um, see how well you can breathe with just a single 3M filter on one side. Well, as you can probably hear, I'm already being able now to breathe through the mask. So if I can find the straps that I fully loosen, that are down there somewhere. There we go. There we go, that's that on. Yeah, and obviously the air resistance is pretty tight because I've only got the single filter on there. But yeah, it works absolutely fine with the 3M filters. So obviously I said don't lose your blanking um, plugs because if you lose them, then obviously uh, you're not going to be able to use the mask properly. So now we've established, and you can see it pressurises still if I hold that bit tight. Um, now we've established, uh, you know, that the 3M filters work, let's try the other version of it. Okay, so now to try it for a 40mm filter, because I'm hoping this is a proper NATO style thread, um, Stanag, not Gost. So you just remove the blanking plug. Now, when I first got this mask, this blanking plug was so tight, I actually had to get pliers to remove it. Um, it wasn't damaged the mask or anything cross-threaded, but they'd obviously tightened it so much in the factory that, you know, it was completely solid on there so what i've done now is obviously when i tighten it up i tighten it enough to make it airtight but not um that stupidly tight so yeah there we go let's see if um a 40 millimeter stanag filter screws in all right because like i'm hoping this isn't ghost this mask because some chinese masks are ghost 
All right, that seems pretty tight in. Let's now put the mask back on. Tighten up the straps again. There we go. Uh, I just popped my ear. So yeah, so that pressurises. So yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with this Chinese mask. I like the previous generation of it, because how I've got it set up now is basically how the previous gen worked. Because it didn't have any 3M style filters or blanking plugs, it was just literally a 40mm mask. But yeah, for a cheap mask, it makes a good face seal. It's actually relatively comfortable, the head harness isn't bad at all. Like I said, it, it'd be better if you could actually manually tighten the individual bits on the side, but that's not the design they've gone for with this, because it's just sort of, um, you know, when you tighten it at the bottom and then it pulls the entire mask tighter to your face. But yeah, it's um, a very good field of view on this. I'm assuming this is a relatively tough kind of plastic. And as I said, the blanking plug design seems to work quite well. So while I wouldn't really recommend this as a full-on CBRN mask, because I don't know what you know quality these rubbers are, I think if you needed a respirator for just general use, this would be really good because of the fact that you can use either 3M filters with it or standard 40mm filters. Because like I said, it's got a blanking plug system where as long as you don't lose your blanking plugs, you just basically plug it back up with whichever blanking plug you want to use. And you know, you can even use, like I was saying, Although it restricts your airflow quite a bit, you can use um, basically one 3M filter at a time. So if you bought a pack of two 3M filters, you could actually, you know, rather than using both at once, you could actually use one, wait till that expired, then use the other if you're trying to be really cheap about it. So yeah, there you go. Like I said, this mask's actually good. I'm going to see if in the description I can put a link to it, because annoyingly with some of these masks on AliExpress, you know, the listings change quite often. But yeah, out of the Chinese masks that are the budget type ones, this design is actually pretty good because, like I said, it's a comfortable face piece for what it is. Um, and this is generally very versatile and practical. So I definitely recommend this for, you know, people that want a gas mask on a budget. Because uh, as I said, I wouldn't really trust it against lots of chemical weapon type things that are designed to eat through masks, because I imagine the rubbers are too weak. But against dust, stuff like CS gas, stuff like that, you know, doing any DIY jobs or very minor kind of chemical threats. This is certainly better than nothing, and obviously you're getting something that's actually new, not surplus. So yeah, these masks do impress me for what they are. And looking at the volume levels on the camera, it seems that um, obviously the, uh, even though it doesn't really have a voice diaphragm, it seems that my voice is coming out all right because I'm nearly peaking the, um, without talking very loud, nearly peaking the microphone. So, yeah, there we go. I'd recommend these. Um, if I can put a link below, there'll be a link below for one of these. 